to show you the uh, the Wu Dojo plugin which I've activated because you've got to do a little bit of work. So I'm just going to quickly go through it all. But when you create it, you're basically once it's created and uploaded and activated, it will appear up here or around here. And you can see that I've activated a few of them: the Wu Dojo short links, the social widgets, the tab grouping, the tabs, and the widget preview. You can, there's extra ones you can add. Um, you can just read through them which ones you want to add, but it's an excellent plugin. Okay, now, so with the tab grouping, I can create a, a group of tabs, and I'll call this a home group. group. Uh, and then I just want to have uh, latest and popular as the tabs, instead of all the tabs, and I add the tab group. It automatically creates a slug, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, for the social widgets, there's, you've, you've the only thing you've got to do is you've got to uh, you've got to log into your Twitter account. You follow the prompts under the social widgets um, for the settings, and it'll, and you'll have to put an API key in. And, and you do that by going to Twitter, following the links, and it'll take you to Twitter to create an, an application. It's pretty simple. Uh, the application uh, doesn't require a hell of a lot of work, but it will take you five minutes. And the same there with the short links. With the settings for the short links, I've chosen Bitly. Uh, for my short links, you can just use the native WordPress ones, but I find Bitly a little bit better. So basically, I've set up a few of them here. Now I'm going to show you what you can do once you've you've set those up. So let's go. Firstly, let's go to the widgets. Okay. So you'll see when you create this, you'll get uh, Woo tabs, and because I've created a special widget area for it, the tabs, the tab group, I've called, I've created a, a tab group called Home Group. Okay, and I want to have five in there, and we'll just call it, um, we'll just call it Tabs Widget there. I don't care about the capital spelling. Okay, so now when I go to the website and I go to the to the services sidebar, I click on that, and this will probably look a little bit ugly, but you'll see that there's a tabs. Okay, and it shows the, all the latest articles. Okay, that's pretty much all that widget thing does, but it can. It can look pretty good on some websites. This one, this one, it's pretty basic. Um, but you can you can create tabs. You can have comments and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, and there's a there's a fair bit of options in here. You can uh, you can have it to the right hand side, which will probably look a bit dicky here. But yeah, see there. So you're going to have to style that. With a lot of these plugins, you you will have to do a bit of styling yourself. So that's the tab grouping widget. Now, just out of the box, if I just put it without the tab grouping, I'll show you what happens. Um, so, oh, sorry, I'll put this on the main page uh, under the primary sidebar. But if I just do this as normal, you'll see um, on, on the home page, you'll see the tabs, um, the tabs widget, it has all of those tabs, but you might not want to have all of them on there. That's what the that uh, that optional thing does for you, the uh, tab grouping. Okay, so let's look at the next one, which is the Bitly, Bitly one. Okay, you get the short link. Well, it's actually not going to work with this because it's not in integrated yet. But you'll get a short link, a Bitly short link, from the uh, from from the page, and it automatically creates all of those for you. Okay, but you, when you when you click on that once it's live, this site, you'll get a Bitly short link. Okay. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple too. Now, um, the, the, the other thing we, we've got is uh, we've got um, the social widgets. Now, again, what that does is it creates a, a, a widget for you. You can have your Instagram, um, you can have your tweets uh, or your Twitter profile, and you can just put them into the sidebar. So I can put this in, into the sidebar here um, and... Okay, and I can tick all of these. It'll probably look pretty ugly with all of them tick, ticked. Uh, click save. Okay, and then I can basically go to the home page, and and you'll see. Actually, where are we? Where, where did I put that? Oh, sorry, I put it onto the sidebar of the services page. So you'll see my latest tweets there. Okay, and you can do the same with the Instagram. Um, the Instagram uh, widget and the uh, Instagram profile, Instagram uh, Instagram images, and with the Instagram images, you can do a bit of playing around, and you can actually—that's uh, not going to work. 
Um, but you can actually do, do, you know, you can have what size thumbnails you want to have, how many you want to have, all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, that's basically an overview of the Woo Dojo. There's a lot more features to it, and Woo actually provides a, a really nice uh, video to explain everything um, about, the, about that plugin, but it's a great little plugin.